Hello, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with Mindy. Hey everyone. From Cute Girls Hairstyles. If you guys have not seen her channel, check it out. She does amazing hair tutorials. Homecoming's coming up and I'm really excited because there's this hairstyle that I have in mind that I really want you guys to learn how to do now. It's a great one because it seriously is the hairstyle that anyone could wear. Curly hair, natural curls, straight hair, wand curls, anything you've got, this one's gonna work. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's get started. Thank you for the First, I'm gonna decide whether I want the bangs in or out. So which ones do you want? I decided I'm gonna leave mine down. Down. Okay, so it's just important to notate that we're gonna be taking hair from behind her natural bang line so that the bangs stay out of the actual updo. And I'm gonna show you how to do it on Andrea's hair, but this is something you can totally do on yourself. You do not have to have like a secondary person. I have my little famous teasing brush here that I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna start and just pick up kind of like a little rectangle size section of her hair, right on the top of her head, the crown area. And we're gonna tease this because we want it to be nice and big and voluminous. We okay. love big hair. So we're just gonna tease it. Look at that. Okay, we're teasing. And I think that's good for right now. We're going to comb it back, smooth it out a little bit, and then we're gonna bobby pin that little section down. In my opinion, this top part is the most important part. Great. So you think that's where they're probably gonna spend most of their time? I do, because it's what you know you see on your face and it's what frames your face, so it's what you want to look the very best, right? So I'm just taking my bobby pins and I'm just gonna cross them, just cross them to make sure that that's gonna hold them in place and be nice and secure. Secured. Secured. Now we're gonna take a little section of hair. I'm gonna do it the right side first. And you're gonna twist it. This is where the fun begins. You're gonna twist this whole section of hair just down, a regular twist, and then we're gonna mess it up. So you're just gonna start at the top of the strand and pull. And it doesn't matter where you pull, this is all personal preference, or how big you pull. If you want bigger hair, pull bigger pieces make it really loose and scrunchy looking. So you see how like really messy that is? Now we're gonna use that to lay up and over the top and we're gonna make sure that we cross over those bobby pins so that we hide them. And then we're just gonna take those ends, we're gonna wrap them under and we're gonna bobby pin again. Have lots of bobby pins handy, cause you're gonna need them. I have bobby pins everywhere. In your house? In my vacuum. I have them everywhere. We have five girls. My husband's like, I'm gonna start charging you a dollar for every bobby pin I have to pick up off the floor. So you're just gonna bobby pin that back in so that all the ends are tucked under. Make sure you like the way it looks. And when you're satisfied, move to the left side. So again, we're just gonna pick up a section of hair. Do the exact same thing. Twist it. and then mess it up. Does it matter which direction they twist it? Like towards well, them? Or I away? prefer twisting away from the face because I always feel like it's more flattering to go away from your face. Okay. But if you, you know, really feel strongly about twisting towards your face, go for it. I feel very strongly. Yeah. You can tell that every piece you do is gonna be different. They're not all gonna look the same. Is there a certain amount of hair that has to be in each twist? No, I just, I don't want to do too much hair because I want the effect of having lots of twists. Mm -hmm. So, but I mean, you don't want teeny tiny so you can't even see the twist. We're going to go back to the right side and pick up our next piece of hair. And again, just form our twist and then mess it up. You're going to have like five girls to do homecoming styles for. I know, but not all at once, thank goodness. Wait, how, what, what's the age gap? Um, so the first two are twins, so I'll have them to do it at the same time. Yes, twins. Twin power. Twin thing. And then the next one's three years later, and then the next one's two and a half years later. It's a lot. Same thing, we're just crossing it over, and then bobby pinning. I feel like this hairstyle would look so good with mulberry lips. I wonder if they have like professional people out there that you hire to play with your hair. Like, you know how they have like masseuses? I wonder if they have like... I'll play with your hair for a dollar for like $40 for an hour. <laughs> Is that weird? You should go into that. Um, how many twists do you think that this probably takes? Um, one, it, two, three, really? four, five. I don't know. I think we're on seven right now on your hair. 
she has a lot of hair. So it would depend on the thickness and the length too, like how many times you can go back and forth. You want to get the strands as close together as you can. It's just like all one uniform hairdo and not, you know, separated strands. We're getting close to the end. We're almost there. But the end, you'll just wrap and tuck underneath itself. I'm gonna just go back and mess up and tweak any spots that I don't feel like are messed up enough. So after you just finalize by tweaking any little spots that are bugging you and pulling to make it fluffy, you are finished and you have the completed look and it looks amazing. I love it so much. I would probably even wear this if it wasn't homecoming because it's so easy and so cute. Um, but I just think that this is like the perfect look for, for homecoming, especially if you have curly hair and like don't really want to use any heat mm -hmm. or anything like that. Like this is perfect. And if you look at my fangs and when I do an updo, I don't know why I love to have like these like elongated cat eyes yeah. and like a new look. I just feel like it mm -hmm. goes really well with mm -hmm. like a nice dress. If you guys like this mm -hmm. hair tutorial, Mindy has a lot more on her channel. It is Cute Girls Hairstyles. I'll link it down below as well. Also, wait a minute. What's that up there? Double bonus for you. We also did another hair tutorial on Mindy's channel. So yep. click right there and you can watch. It is Our messy fishtail braid. Very good. And also hair. very appropriate for curly hair. Yes, I think you should. Oh. <laughs> so go ahead and click up there and we will see you on her channel. See you guys later. Bye.